My name is Tim Trelaw, and you're watching Dr. Freedom. this thing for a while now i was just monkeying around with it i, I normally have it hanging back over there but it's uh i was taking it out the dust set out of it oh, all right i was dusting my blaster is that a new term for something i want to know oh, all right so uh, sorry i've been trying to monkey around with this thing a little bit because the screen moves around too much this little thing here and it's like it gets me a pain in the butt i love the thing to death it really does help out but oh well, let's get around to it let's get onto it the stuff you really want to hear news from in and around the universe is Dr. Freedom here with you, and it's time to go. Now, once again, you know, people are out there circling around like, I love this. You got people out there who call themselves fans of a show, yet they masturbate like little mad monkeys whenever the ratings take even the slightest dip. And I'm like, let me get this straight. Let me put this to you in reality terms. So maybe you'll understand. Look at the camera. Come here. Look at here. Yeah, look at this big nose. If this show gets canceled at this point, you will not get another showrunner. You will not get another doctor. You will not get nothing. You'll get zero. Zilch. If they can't keep this show running another couple more years until such time as, say, you know, Whitaker or Chibble decide to leave, then you'll get your way. Then, you know, that way the little babies have been out there stammering and, you know, throwing tantrums and acting like total ape, apes. And I'm not saying it's all misogynist. I'm just saying there's just people out there who, for some reason, have been going to go absolutely crazy. Now, there are people who genuinely don't like what they've been seeing. Okay, I can understand that. But then you get the guys out there going, Rotten Tomatoes Critics Page! Rotten Tomatoes Poll Page! Uh, sorry, guys. They did the exact same shit when a bunch of guys threw a baby fit over, uh, what was it? Not Phantom Menace. Well, I hated Phantom Menace. But um, over Force Awakens and all that stuff. Or was it Last Jedi? And the same thing with Black Panther. There's a lot of people who threw a fit trying to drive down the pole on it. And it's just, sorry, folks, it don't work. Even their own site is pretty much admitted that they find their own poll results to be unreliable. So, <laughs> but let's get into the news. Okay, let's hop into the stuff you are here to see. All right. All right, right off the top of the bat. There's a free digital preview of the Doctor 2019 magazine you know, yearbook. I'll be putting all these links for you in the description box if you wish to go take a look at it for yourselves. All right, moving forward, R.O. Wynn Jones, who, by the way, is, I think, going over to the Dracula Project. So he won't be on Doctor Who anymore, but he was one of the big designers for Doctor Who this year. And, you know, here's some uh, really, oh, there's just some really cool shots like this one here. Like, that'd make a beautiful wallpaper. You know, check it out, you know. Really, really cool stuff. And don't worry, I'll have a link to this right here so you can go look at it. All right, resolution, of course. Here's what they've been going on, like, you know, little mad monkeys, you know, with their little mad bananas. Going, hee, hee, hee. Resolution was watched by 5.15 million viewers, which, by the way, for that night was a 22% share of the audience. And now remember, this is unofficial overnight. But guess what? It still made Doctor the fourth highest rated program of the day. Top was get listen to this though. This is where it gets freaky. So before you start running up the banner saying, Oh, it's over, Luther only scored 5.6. Yeah, that was the highest rated program of the day, was 5.63. Yeah, so hey, listen to this. On ITV2 programs edged above Doctor Who, and that was Coronation Street with 5.3 and Emmerdale with 5.17. EastEnders only scored 4.74, and Mrs. Brown's Boys only scored 5.06. So, yes, everybody was once again a down across the board. And I even brought this up because, you know, this is why I did that, you know, bit where the, I showed you the results for the Queen's speech and how it was down over a million plus. So even though they probably won't hit, you know, the most they could probably hit 7 million with the overnights and that's being optimistic it's still a good number but then you've got sites like this 
Ratings low for the time shifted Doctor Who festive special. This is the lowest level for the annual event since 2005. Please bring forth your pitchforks and torches. We will be putting Jody on a stake for you to burn and poke at. You see what I mean? Uh, then this is why you get articles like this. Resolution scored just 5.15 million viewers on the overnight, making it the fourth watch program of the day behind the return of Luther and new episodes, of course, of Corey and Emmerdale. Now, the numbers, however, seem to look bad. Say that, you know, the Hollywood Reporter, who starts contrasting them with final ratings of the past Doctor Who Christmas specials, painting a very morbid picture that's no doubt already a fueled a zillion algorithmically pleasing YouTube videos about how gosh darn PC culture has ruined Doctor Who forever, or what have you. But the thing is, for those interested in getting a quick lesson on how UK TV ratings actually work, the numbers released today don't actually tell you the full picture of how people have actually watched the New Year's Day special. All right, so then they go into that about, you know, consolidated overnights and whatnot. Example, here's the overnight figures for the top 10 shows of Christmas Day 2018 compared with the same top 10 based on the final consolidated ratings released today. So here you go. And they do this little thing for you just to show you how much of a difference there actually is between consolidated and overnights. And a lot of people get that screwed up. Now, while overnights do have a, their part, because it kind of shows, okay, it gives you a rough idea who was in front of the television at that point, at that night. But you also have to take into account these days online viewing, uh, you know, later views of Desire Player, and things like that. And people don't do that. They're like, oh, the numbers are dropping. I'm going to get my way. They're going to fire Judy. I'm gonna get their, they're going to put a penis back in the TARDIS. Matter of fact, Peter Capaldi's fall, to, to use a more appropriate sample from 2017, Peter Capaldi's swan song episode of Doctor Who, twice upon a time, scored 5.7 on the overnight, but got bumped up to 7.9 million in the finals, which is your consolidator rating. So numbers were down across the board. So you can go out there and make all your little videos about how, oh, I'm so superior because I am proving the power of my manhood. Oh, all right, rock through resolution behind the scenes of the cast and crew. And here's some nice little behind the sheens. Behind the sheens. You don't want to go behind the sheens. No, you don't. Sp sp stay away from Charlie. Okay, um, here you go. Like I said, a lot of these we've already seen because, you know, they were filming photos. So, you know, like when they did this little bit right here and the one park guy actually walked up on and had it on video where he basically almost walked right through the set. Also, here you go, some nifty background shots. So, and of course, there's the unit stuff. And there's that damn MDZ sign. You know, Morgan Bailey had these way back when. Everybody remember that? Back in July. And there's some good old, cool, cool stuff. And a lot of people have been now making fun of the Dalek, trying to say the Dalek was feminized. No, it was simply a new take on the Dalek design based off the fact this thing rebuilt its body from scrap parts as well as remnants of its former shell. Of course, it's not going to look complete. If North is, of course, it's not going to look like a regular Dalek. And also, they did specify it's a recon Dalek. I love it because there was some idiot out on Facebook trying to make the argument if the recon Dalek is meant to absolutely conquer planets, then shouldn't it have been built. I'm like, dude, the recon Dalek was meant to go out and find planets to be conquered. And then it would signal the fleet to come conquer it. It was a recon Dalek. Duh. Oh, God. Uh, okay, Dalek's Doctor Who Return was inspired by a Jodie Whittaker photo, and this is an amusing story that Chibs told about where it was way back when, uh, around the time of the Regeneration episode, that Jodie was walking around through the props area of the studio. They found the Dalek standing there, and she sent Chibs a picture of her with it, you know, with a cup of tea, like they were having a little chat. And that's how he was like, okay, I've got to have the Daleks in with her. All right. Latest season of the show at its most revolutionary and it's also at its most traditional. And what they're trying to show here is, you know, they're giving it, it's a good read, give it a shot. And I think they're trying to lay the groundwork of what they were kind of going for this year. They're trying to go back to basics and go in a different direction. And that's why I said, that's what I find ironic. You had all these people whining and bitching about how they wanted rid of Moffat, how they got tired of the complex, convoluted, complicated storylines. 
yet they try something different and they get shit on. I'm not kidding. It, it's that's the problem. That's the risk, you know, with today's crazy society. All right, key part, Dr. Universe may be gone forever, and I wish to God people would get off their damned high horse. All they said was, unit was suspended pending a review. They didn't say it was disbanded. They didn't say it was shut down. They didn't say it had been permanently dissolved. They said it had been suspended pending a review. I know here once again, here's another excuse for the hardcore traditionalists who cannot accept the fact that the new doctor is not the gender they wanted it to be to go out and bitch. That, oh, now he's killing Unit, too. Uh, how long can this go? No, he didn't. All they did was they gave away that big explanation as the everyone was always wondering, whenever something happened on Earth, why wasn't some other organization there? And this was a cute way to do it, and they you know, put in a little ribbing for the whole Brexit thing. That's all it was. Okay, new high-quality rec audio recordings of missing Doctor Who episodes have been recovered. Unfortunately, they are audio recordings, not video, but still, it is a nice thing to have because most of the ones they did have were taped off of television. Sure, they are very good quality recordings, but still. So here's all the stuff you need to know about that, what episodes were found, what tape tracks, and if you folks are into that kind of thing, here you go. Go take a look at this, all right? And moving forward, Cosmic Mask, issue number seven. The latest edition of Cosmic Mask is available for download from the Doctor Appreciation Society. Cosmic Mask episode, sorry, issue seven is an e-magazine all about being a fan. The edition has 90 pages full of fiction reviews, interviews, and articles, and it is free for everyone to download here, yada, 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 yada. And, of course, comments and contributions are welcome at yada, 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 yada. There you go. Man, man, ha, ha. And for you nifty folks who are out Wales, here are the top 10 Welsh Doctor Who filming locations. A nice little thing that was compiled by Visit Wales. And uh, trust me, one thing, if, if you're going anywhere near Wales, bring an umbrella. Okay, so once again, it just amazes the living hell out of me how you've got people out there who call themselves fans of an institution who actually cheer when the ratings drop. Yet I didn't see all this cause of concern and screaming and crying. Well, as I said before in a previous video, where the hell was all this support when the ratings were taking to you know, back during the latter part of the Capaldi era? Where the hell were all these so-called fans who are so adamant to have a penis in the TARDIS and are to have it you know, stay the way it was, yet they weren't even watching the show then? Yet now they're giving episode-by-episode episode synopsis about how it sucked. Irony much? Hypocrite much? That's all I got to say for you. So good night, everybody. Please take care. I hope you enjoy the new year. It's been a blast so far. Thank you, arthritis. Good night, folks. Take care. <laughs>